Greetings, fellow adventurers. This is Venture, and welcome back to my portal adventure. And this is quite nearly the end, I am guessing. From what I remember, this is pretty much... I can't imagine this series going more than maybe one, maybe two episodes at the most more. Alright, how do I get out of here? I have no idea. Also, my hair today is beautiful. It looks like I had butted a hurricane. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Alright, so let's get the heck out. Um... Well, I put that portal there, but there's not enough space for me to actually go through it, and there's nowhere in here to make... Okay, I'm actually confused. I, can't, I actually tried opening this. I actually tried. I'm at that point now where I'm actually trying just to open the door, because I'm like, no, I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, am I doing... Am I really stupid right now? Is there something incredibly obvious that I'm supposed to do? Okay, you can't make one there. You can make them there, though. I feel like you can open up a portal there. Is there am I missing something? Is there something really dumb? Is there something really stupid I'm missing? Something really stupid. What am I missing? I'm missing something. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Right? It's not normal. It's not... Wait, is there something all the way over there? No? Okay, what am I missing? Can't go back up that way, can I? No. Wait, can I? No. Okay. Oh, geniuses. Yeah, but can I go in there? Can I go in there? Oh, I can crouch! See? I am a genius! It just took me way too long to do that! Alright, what is the purpose of this? Exactly. I mean, I would imagine this has a purpose. It was developed, and the map editor had to put this very location in the game. Did I just walk in front of a gigantic machine piston? Did I just... did I just die? by getting crushed by gigantic machine piston. I think I did, yeah. That's what I did. I actually did that. On camera, I did that, no less. Yeah, that's beautiful right there. That's just a testament to my wonderful gaming skills. Scowls, as they say in Spain. I have actually no idea what I'm doing. Okay, hang on. Let's look at this, and let's do this with science. Um, let's see. Can't make a portal there. Um... Let's see, science. Ooh, this looks like a sciencey thing. Very sciencey. It's got some fuses in the fuse box. Fuses, because I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, let's let's answer a comment while I'm wandering around here in complete and utter confusion. First comment comes from Oh boy. Haberschnickel Loudon. And he says, last name is pronounced Loden. I like how I'm so bad at pronouncing people's names that they've begun putting descriptions of how to pronounce their names in their actual comments, knowing that I will pronounce them wrong. So it's Loudon. I have no idea about the first name. <laughs> he doesn't know how to spell his, pronounce his first name, apparently. He doesn't know how. Um, so, Jordan, if you were stranded on an island... With dangerous swamp monsters, who would you have with you? Siren or Veil? Personally, I would have Siren. Well, let's see. Let's go over the facts of your question here real quick. You said if you're stranded on an island with swamp monsters. Now, we know Siren knows how to deal with swamp monsters, or poop flingers as we know them. But, at the same time, by saying it's a stranded on an island probably means that it's very primitive with no technology to speak of. Which would make me think that Veil would be a better choice, because Siren without technology is basically... I, I don't know, a uh, nerd with a stick? And what are you gonna do with a nerd with a stick? I mean, I don't know. Also, I'm so confused. Okay, hang on. Okay, that's not gonna... Oh, no, you can! That doesn't help, though. What does that help? What does that... I am so confused. What about this? Nope, that's not a thing. Okay! Great! I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Just when I said that, I don't think the series could go more than, like, one episode. I'm willing to get stuck. Okay. So I could go... Wait, what? How does that help? Like, oh, well, if I crash in here and go back up into the orange one, then I'm down there. Right? But how does that help me? Wait, now I'm up... Am I upside down? Am I peeking out upside down? Oh my gosh, this is so weird! Oh! Oh, that made your stomach turn. Okay, you know what? Okay, what are these things for? These things are for something. I know they're for something. Alright, what can I see when this thing goes up? Uh, oh! Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay. Okay, so I went through it. Oh, that's so cool! I have one portal on the bottom and one portal on the top, which basically just makes the portals into holes. And I went through it! Like a little groundhog. Okay, now it's pretty self-explanatory. Now I gotta stand on this. And then wait for it to extend towards the platform. Woo! Okay, little running man. Tells me to go this way. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Now what? Do I gotta go back? 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 Okay, lovely. Um, now I'm here, which is great. How do I get out of here, though? Oh, okay. I put that there, and I put this there, and then jump through Neptune and out of Jupiter! Mm, no, come on! Okay, come on, come on, come on. I got this. Oh, yes! Second try! Second try, indeed. It is loading. Or lealding, as they say in Spain. Um... How would you know? How would you know? How would you even know that? You don't even know where I am. Okay. Well, we got some piston things in one room, and we got this walkway that goes absolutely nowhere to this door. But I don't think this door will open. No, because doors don't open in this world. Doors don't work in Portal. They just don't. Like apparently, this is like a horrible apocalypse. It's like a terrible plague on humanity. There was a horrible biological outbreak that caused doors to stop working. So they had to invent portals. Oh, of course, the one ladder in the entire game breaks on contact. It must also affect ladders. So ladders and doors don't work in this world. Which, I guess, if ladders and doors cease to work in the world, creating a portal device would actually be practical. So now you kind of understand where they're coming from with this. Um, okay, so I'm guessing that I'm supposed to do something. Which is great. Okay, I can make portals here, right? Okay, good. That that opens up some possibilities. Okay, I'm gonna get crushed to death in this place. All right, so they all they all smashed into the ceiling, or do they? No, they don't. Okay, some of them smash into the ceiling. Other ones don't. Other ones are beautiful. Okay, hang on. Can I get up there for any reason? No. How about that? Mm, no. Okay, what if I were to theoretically do that, and then land on this? What if, what, if, what if I did that? Just theoretically. Like, theoretically. Oh, don't, please don't crush me. Please don't crush me. Please don't crush me. <sighs> I thought I was dead. I really did. Okay, we gotta get in there. Which I could, I guess, if I were to jump onto that one. I could get out there. But is that all we gotta do? Because why is there? What is this for? Because there's another little, little door right here. Is that where we're going or is that where we're going? I don't know. What's in here? What's in here? Oh, there's a little... There's a little thingy, there's a little cross space. Can't crawl on that though, because grates also don't work in Portal. Help! The cake is a lie. A little late for that, dude. Little late. You're like a couple of us is late, but that's fine. You can do whatever you want. Um. Okay. Well, I can get here, which is wonderful and great, and I'm really glad that they allowed me to get here. I didn't even try that door because I just figured that the virus has infected it with the non-door opening, which is great, because I am in fact Dora Maya. I'm the world's greatest door crafter in the history of mankind. I create doors that are so beautiful that on, just on a touch, you will be flooded with tears of t childhood joy just from touching the door handle. That's how beautiful my doors are. You don't even know about Dormaya. You don't even know of my amazingness. I don't know why I'm here. What is the point of getting in this room? I can do this. Great. Now what? Um, how does this help me? How does this possibly help me? I could do that down there. What do I need to be here for? What does being here at this height help me do? Nothing is what it does. It does nothing. This is not even worth being here. What is the point of this? I mean, there's there's this. Got some empty cans. I don't because I can do it. Duh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna jump on this one. Wait, it's not high enough. That's what we got. Okay. Okay, so that's not high enough. But that still doesn't help. What what am I supposed to do though? What am I supposed to do? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm so lost. I don't understand. I'm going to answer a comment. Okay, from Jim Mers Venturian. She says, Jordan, have you ever watched Teletubbies? I have, but looking back now, so creepy. Hashtag just nope. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've seen Teletubbies, and let's just say I was way too old to be watching it. I have this habit of watching 
children's shows when I'm older because they're hilarious and terrifying and they really they really stick with you in a way horror movies just can't. So yes, I have watched Teletubbies and there's actually a funny story about that. I remember when I was little, I did watch some Teletubbies when I was very little. And much later in my life, when I first heard about Doctor Who and I heard about the TARDIS and his little robot, robotic dog or whatever, the first image that popped into my mind that I thought was, in fact, Doctor Who was actually Teletubbies. Because you know how they had that underground little house thing that kind of looks kind of suspiciously like a TARDIS? And they had that little robotic vacuum cleaner that went around and I thought, hey, look, that looks exactly like Canine, and it kind of does. So, honestly, I had a very good reason for thinking that... I did not know you could do that. I don't know what that helps. But apparently you can open portals underneath the ladders, which is great. What am I even doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the ceiling in here can't have a portal. No, it, it can't. Never mind. I take back everything I said. It's only this. On this wall, you can have a portal. Which doesn't help me. I can make a portal down there. This is... What is the point of coming in here? What is the... Oh, wait a minute. No. I thought you could build up speed. But no, that would be too easy. They don't want to... I don't want to go easy on me. Okay, why am I suddenly being stupid? Why am I suddenly stupid? There's no reason to suddenly be stupid. I just am. Also, this door's not going to open because of the horrible disease that infected all doors on this planet. Okay, come on. There's got to be a... There's got, I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something horribly wrong. What, what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't understand. I don't... Okay, hang on. Wait a minute. No! No, you are kidding me. No, I am done. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done on video ever in my entire life. It was as simple as a stupid put the portal in the place you can't get to puzzle. You guys just watched me for like 10 minutes wander around in a room that was one of the easiest forms of puzzle in the entire world. I apologize on behalf of your eyeballs that had to witness that. Um, there's some tanks of something awesome. Don't drink it, though. Oh, we had all the fun. I really, really did have some fun, but I don't know. Okay, what in the world? Okay, so I'll go like this. Simple enough. Simple enough. Okay, can I jump over there, or am I going to die a horrible... Oh, yeah, I can use that. Whoa. Okay, these things are moving, man. These things are moving. Okay, we made the- see, that one's simple enough. That one's simple enough. Enough is simple. Okay, hang on. I need to wait until that is extended. And then go like this. Boop! Ha-ha! Great, now what? Now, what does that help me do? What does that help me do besides die? Can I get up there? No. Okay. Oh, wait. I can get there. Right? Can I get there? Yes, I can. Ha-ha! Yes, I can. Ha-ha! Boop! Okay, awesome! What did that do? Okay, please open, please open, please open. No! The door disease strikes again! Strikes again! What's the point of getting here? Why, 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 why be here? Why be here? Why, 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 why be here? Why be here? Why be here? Okay, very good. How am I expected to get there? Oh, wait a minute, hang on. Can I fling myself? Can I do a flingy majingy? Can I do a flingy majingy hingy? I'm gonna do a flingy majingy hingy. Okay, hang on. I need to put it a little bit more that direction, though, right? All right, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do a why be here? Woo! Aha! Look at that! I'm doing good now! I'm doing good now after, like, not doing anything for. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no! Oh, no! Who designed this room? Who designed this room? They should never make another game ever! That is- No! I don't want to go in there. That's terrifying! I'm going to be mashed up into stuff. Ew! Why do this to me? That is all for this time because enjoyed this episode of nothing actually happening. It actually made it past another episode because I was so stupid. I was so dumb and took so long in one room, it's actually going to make it to another episode. That is all for this time. If you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like, leave a comment, we'll see you next time.